Okay, so it can kind of be a pain to figure out tile plans in Farmworks because you have to go out and survey everything. But if you take LiDAR from the website or from the internet, you can import that into Farmworks and then you can come up with your plans roughly with grade ease. So the first program you need for this is you need uh, QGIS. It's a free program you can download online, GIS program. And then you can see I have the DEM file um, already made, derived from LiDAR data for my county. And so that's currently highlighted. First program you go into on the right is you use Clip Raster by Extent. And make sure in the input layer you have the file that you want to use. And then right here, I'm going to clip the area, make my area of interest. And so this is the field that I want to make a, a LiDAR dem for that'll be imported into Farmworks. Okay, run the deal. And ta-da, you have a new layer. That's your clipped layer. Next step is you will run uh, warp reproject. And once again, now you need to use the input layer will be the new layer you just created, the clipped layer. And I just use the projection that uh, my dem file came in. Uh, it doesn't seem to really matter what projection you use. And then right here, I click uh, 20 feet. So each dot will be 20 feet from each other. And we can check it out here. I'll measure it. And sure enough, when I bring the window over, we'll see that it's 20 feet. Uh, so if you have it closer than that, because LiDAR data comes out at like inches apart from each other, the farmers was bogged down. In fact, I put, uh, I did at 15 feet for, what was it? About just over one section of land. And it took farm works about 45 minutes to load that sucker. So you kind of have to have it 20 feet or more if you're going to do any area of any size. Uh, next thing you take your new reprojected layer and you do raster, uh, pixels to points. And go ahead, run that. And now, after you create your new vector points layer, you take that layer and you add XY fields to layer. Looks like somewhere along the way in my, uh, coordinate system change, but it really doesn't seem to matter. And ta-da, this is the last, uh, the last file that you need to create. And so what you'll do is you'll export this, save features as, and then when this loads up, it's important that the selected fields, value X and Y, they're all selected for file name, pick your file name. There's 20 foot between each point, so I saved it as this. Um, I don't think that matters changing the projected CRS, but I put it back in the original format. Uh, but this part is important for separator. You need tab and then okay. Now we have created the, uh, was it the Excel file or the CSV file? 
CVS, whatever it is, CSV file. And so now we can take that file into FarmWorks. There we go. There's all the data points. So let's go into FarmWorks now and we will read this data. There we go. And you can create a template for this when you get done. But what these coordinates here, this will be different for you. Um, this happens to be the datum that my file is in because uh, I'm from South Dakota, northern part of South Dakota. So that part could be different for you. This is the important part. Remember, you saved it as a tab, not a comma. So when you go to tabs, then all the values will show up. For this value, you will want elevation. For the X, you will want easting. And for the Y, you will want uh, northing. Ba -ba -da -ba. And there you go. You've just uh, added your new your new file. Now I'll put it with a field name. Um, I guess for now I put my drainage plans under these. And there we go. Now we created it. Um, if you look to the left, it's in my plan. So I'll have to make a topographic layer, blah, blah, blah. Don't care about that. And this is the one where, uh, when I made the topographic, oh, and here we go. Now I'm going to create a drainage plan. And this is the part where, uh, where it took like 45 minutes to create a topographic layer. When I did the 15 foot and it was a section and a half of land. It really bogged down farm works, but on a quarter, it works pretty fast, at least on my computer. So let's take this drainage plan and then we can, uh, we could just come up with some rough ideas. And this is where I use a quick idea to see if, if a project's even possible. So there we go. And Looks like under the parameters we have, we can make that drainage plan work. So it's worth, uh, now it's worth going out there and surveying for real or ordering tile and seeing if you can, you should be actually able to make it work now. So that's how you use LiDAR data in FarmWorks. Uh, you have to use QGIS to bring it in and make sure that you have, uh, the dem file you can get the dem file the dem file from uh, usgs website typically not all places have lidar available but a lot of places do so hopefully this helps out for you and good luck okay here's the website i use to get lidar data um some of it i got from my local county uh, I just went to the, their GIS department, but for a different county that didn't have a GIS department, I went to this USGIS website. Um, it's the 3DEP LiDAR Explorer, and you can find maps on it.